What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm at a Ford dealership. So we dropped off our mason dump that we picked up earlier this year. Oh, actually it was middle of last year we picked it up because when we bought it, it had an exhaust leak on it. And you can see right here, there is a new piece of exhaust that goes, where does it go? Oh look, it goes all the way from the muffler it seems. So, when we bought it, it had an exhaust leak on it and it was just something that never got fixed before they sold it. But it was in the deal that it would get taken care of and we didn't want to wait. The part was, uh, let me try and set this up somewhere. The part was back ordered. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, stay. All right, that's not gonna work. So the part was back ordered and they just got it like a month ago. They called us and said that it came in. So let's see, there was no charge on it, obviously, because it was supposed to be done before. We bought the truck. Uh, it doesn't even say what it was. It just says, uh, oh, right here. Uh, oh, per Joe Mac. Joe Mac must be the guy that my father used as a salesman, but it's just exhaust reference, RO, blah, 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 install exhaust, we owe. So we got that done and now the truck is probably much quieter. It doesn't really seem too much quieter actually, but that is the nice thing that we got taken care of and we don't have to worry about anymore. This dealership is about, I don't know, 45 minutes north of our Duchess yard. So we had to find the time to get it up here, but I have only 51 miles till empty in here. So I'm gonna stop at a gas station and then get this back to our yard. So I will see you guys when I'm back there. All right guys, I am back at our Duchess yard and I just parked the Mason dump. I have my Colorado over here, but I'm looking through this pile of scrap that we have here. I need to find some two by tens or two by twelves. It looks like we have a couple long two by tens right here. So I'm gonna grab these and then I'm gonna grab some stakes out of our concrete trailer over there because at my house, I need to make the last section of concrete forms that we're gonna pour two little walls on and the inspector wants to see them before we pour it. So I'm gonna use today and get that done. Plus I'm gonna take all the old forms off the other footings that we poured last week. But let me grab these and a couple stakes and I just gotta make sure they're long enough and I have enough material so I don't have to run back here and get more. But I'm gonna get this loaded on my truck and then we will head to my house and get this done. <laughs> All right guys, I'm back at my house now and it's actually pretty chilly out. The weather can't decide if it wants to be sunny or if it wants to rain, but hopefully the rain will hold off and we can get everything done that we need to get done. Before I start working on the forms here for this footing, I'm gonna go around and I have a screw gun and I have a hammer here. I have to take, you know, walk and show you guys real quick. Also, we're starting to grow a little bit of grass in here, which is pretty nice. But I have to go and take all these old forms off that we poured last week. There's a couple more back here. My neighbor pulling in. So. I gotta get all these old forms off, get a little bit of the concrete that 
we over poured cleaned up and then we we're going to start working on the new forms down here in this area so right here i am building a little l shape and we're going to pour walls on top of it so eventually i will have when i pave my driveway we'll pave all into here and i'll have a little area under my deck that i can store my garbage cans in So we got the ones in the back. So this is a five foot cut because here, I'll walk you through it real quick and show you what we're doing. Off of the wall, we want the front of the footing to be at five foot four, but our foundation or our footing for our foundation here is already four inches out. So you subtract four inches, obviously you come five foot four the forms are or the footings are 20 inches wide so five foot well five foot minus 20 inches leaves you at three foot four so now my next cut which will be right here is a three foot four cut and then these i have to make after i got to measure basically what i'll have to do is level down uh actually i'm gonna go all the way to the edge of the brick mold here but our post is here so this wall will be out to about here somewhere about here 
I'm gonna have to level it out and then make these measurements. But the first two I'm gonna get in now. One of them's five foot, which I cut here. And now I need to cut a three foot four piece. All right, so I just leveled down here the outside of the six by six. It's marked right here. And I took that all the way down to the footing here. And then I split it from the middle of the six by six, which is a little mark right there. I don't know if you can see it very well, but I went 10 and 10 each way because this is a 20 inch footing. So now I have my exact marks made and I can grab the material and get that in here. I just have to clean up the side here because this is a little bit fallen in from the rain that we've had so let me get this cleaned up and then we'll get our forms in all right guys so i just ran a string line here i leveled all the way across here or i made it i should say square with the side of my brick molding here that way i have somewhere to pull a measurement from and i know that these forms will be in here square off of the foundation i have them kind of just leaning against there right now this one has a screw in it that one is just laying there but i didn't want to keep going until i had a string line across that way i know that everything is exactly perfect but basically what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull from the edge of the brick molding there to pretty much right here right on the inside of this form and then I'm gonna come out here at the five foot mark and make sure that this point is at the same exact measurement that it was over there. And then basically, once I do that, I'll just do it on the inside here. And I know everything will be square. These ones are a lot easier because you can just pull off of the house rather than having to pull from a string line. But you wanna do that just to make sure that you are putting it in square. Here, let me show you guys what I did real quick before I keep going. So, basically, I used the string line to get this first board in, and that helped me determine if it was square or not. And after that, this one was a lot easier because I didn't have to run off the string line. I now could run off this one, and I know that my footing is 20 inches wide which you see right there, 20 inches on the inside. The up against here it is a little bit bigger. It's 20 and about a quarter or so. So no big deal, maybe three eighths. That's fine. You'd rather it be a little bit bigger than smaller anyway. So it'll just be a tiny bit more concrete on there. And you could tell already because my line here is a little bit inside. I would have had to clean up the dirt here the reason that happened is because my stake is out here and there's no way to get a screw in the stake without cleaning up all that because you need room for the screw gun. So I put it out here and that's why that happened, but no big deal. So now this is a lot easier. I pull off of the house rather than the foundation because the foundation is not showing over there. So three foot eight, which we knew that already because I cut this at three foot four and we have a four inch lip right here. So now I come over here and I'm sinking in the mud, but three foot eight, which is right there. I did put a little tiny mark on the string line there. You can might be able to see it's a little pencil mark there at three foot eight. And that form will come right there all the way across to right here. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the cap that I need on the end. So that's gonna be 23 inches because you have an inch and a half and an inch and a half plus the 20 inch footing. So I'm gonna cut that and then I'll take my measurements and cut the two long pieces. All right guys, so I have our 23 inch end cap piece that'll go right here across the boards just to close off the form so your concrete's not flying out. But I laid this piece in here. This is just a scrap that I had, just so I can show you this real quick. But basically, this piece here, we know, let me get it hooked on there. We know it's three foot four. So I marked 
I didn't have a pencil on me, but I scraped the wood there at the three foot four mark, which you can see now, three foot four, there's a little scrape on the wood. And we know that this is 20 inches. And we know that we need 20 inches here as well. So that's pretty close. This is just sitting in here just to show you. So this form gets screwed on the outside like that. And this one gets screwed on the inside like that. So I'm going to, I'm going to measure from here and we'll just subtract about an inch and a half because that board's a little fat. All right guys. So we are all done. The whole thing is completely formed. All I have left to do is get the bottom closed off so the concrete doesn't just pour right out. Obviously that would be an issue, but the whole thing is in there level and it is 20 inches wide the whole way across. So we are in good shape. All I have left to do is close off the bottoms and then go around and clean up all the wood that I ripped off all the other forms. The unfortunate part about this is that it's only about a yard of concrete. So to get a truck here, you're gonna get hit with a fee just for a short load. And if you're gonna mix it yourself, it's like 45 bags of 80 pounders. So either way, it's not fun. But now that the forms are in, I did call the building department. We have an inspection on Wednesday at some point. So as long as he comes and passes this, which I'm sure he will, there'd be no reason not to, then after that, we can get it poured. But I think that is gonna wrap it up for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.